How many feminists does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know how many. Don't be silly. Feminists can't change anything. <laughs> that was good, but I think this was better. What's loud and obnoxious? What? A woman. <laughs> wait, wait. But why did God create lesbians? Why? To prevent the feminazis from breeding. <laughs> Would you stop calling them feminazis? It makes the Nazis look bad. Excuse me, your jokes aren't funny, and we aren't feminazis. Feminists just want the, the same, same rights, rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, Our movement ten, is not a joke 11, to be slipped into everyday 12, conversation. 13, I know your little 14, moral thing isn't 15, a joke to be slipped 16, into everyday 17, conversation, 18, but what if instead 19, your fine self slips 20, home with me then? 21, My body is not 20, a billboard. I am not an advertisement begging to be looked at. We see over 5,000 advertisements a day, 5,000 naked bodies, 5,000 girls with flat stomachs and ridiculous busts on repeat, shaping the way my body is supposed to be. Because sex sells and what tells you to buy in is what we're trying to get past, but the media moves too fast, forever encasing us in this flat but curvy cast. A lust for big busts, but disgust for the biological purpose of breasts. No rest for new mothers, a man's world with man's regulations, no consideration for the people that birth them. A newborn is not a big enough excuse to get a break. Women with children make 73% of what men do. Only 12% of private companies provide maternity leave. It's hard to believe the treatment received after conceiving another. So help us mothers find another job. Here, sir. Here's my resume, you'll only look at the cover page because the you looks are all that matter anyways. Attractive women are twice as likely to be hired, whereas overweight women are more likely to be ruled out before they even have an interview. But your pretty skin can't save you from the men who crave you. One third of women are sexually assaulted at work. And it happens regardless of the length of their skirts or the tightness of their shirts. We are afraid of hanging outside late at night for reasons other than being mugged. Every 107 seconds, another American becomes a victim of sexual assault. 107. With only a 2% chance of seeing their rapist sent to prison. Because we blame the victim, question their story, their sobriety, their clothes, so eventually they become the criminal and the real criminal is set free. In, In our, our lifetime, lifetime, one out of four, four women, women will be sexually assaulted. One, two, three, four. Which, Which one, one of us will it be? Is it me? Is it me? What if one day we didn't have to ask that question? We won't have to. If this lesson gets through, it's up to you to listen. You can joke about it all you want, but, but our movement, movement is serious. It's, it's alive. alive. It affects people every single day. Women suffer, and, and we, we are dismissed. dismissed. This is, is the, the only, only way we can overvoice the stereotype of it. I am not a Nazi. I'm an activist. I am not an image. I am an artist. I am not your puppet. I'm a human being. I am not your sex appeal. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. I am a woman.